cool him my buddy Johnny. Um, he's a good friend of the channel and a good friend of myself. Um, helps out whenever he can. Truly a great guy. Um, so right now, we're just working out the list of things that need to be done before streetcar takeover. Because this car will make it to streetcar takeover. I but yeah, no. It, the next car I'm buying is definitely going to spice shit up a little bit. Oh yeah. And on other good news... I'll have every single part to have this car running. My goal is to have it running and driving, like, reli well, reliably. It, it, reliably as I can make it. Um, I want to make it out to Streetcar Takeover in Charlotte on June 27th. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so I'm kind of in a time crunch right now. Uh, luckily, since I wrecked my car, I I'll have a little bit of cash saved up. And, I mean, I work two, two different jobs, actually. So, yeah. It'll make it out there. Don't expect me to run tens off the bat because the car is only going to make 400 horsepower and we haven't gone through any of the suspension. Exactly. So, I mean, I, I'm hoping for a very low 12 to a high 11 on my, on my like first drag, like not the, like the first run, but like by the end of the night, I want to be close to an 11. Exactly. Because, I mean, the suspension's semi-built. I need to go through, like, a few things that, like, the previous owner just didn't take care of while he owned it. But, I mean, it's Honda's. It's cheap. So, pretty much all I need is a traction bar, a wiring harness. I was going to use my own, but realized that harness was a firing hazard. And <laughs> I'd rather not even mess with it. So, yeah, the harness should be here in about... Uh, that might hold us up the most, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look into that. But um, I, I might know someone local in Rock Hill who can who can build me one. Good old Jeremiah, Jeremiah Pope, uh, J and J. Yeah. That dude is an old Honda guru, bro. Like he can make a whole new harness for this car. That'd be badass. It just depends on how long, dude. I've got four weeks, like exactly. five weeks. We got like a month. Yeah. We want to chop it down to a month. So yeah, um, I don't know if I told you guys, but this prop valve was, uh, it was leaking like right out of that, like, I don't know what it is. It, it was leaking right out of that nipple in like the middle of the prop valve. So um, I ended up buying a prop valve from a junkyard for five bucks. Shout out to the dude at Miller's. If you need cheap Honda parts, hit my man up. He's in Fort Mill. Um, Maybe he'll give me a sponsor one day. I don't. I don't fucking know. But um, yeah, dude. Uh, but as you can see, guys, the uh, the half shaft is in. The passenger side axle is in. The only reason the driver's side axle isn't in yet is because I need to go return the one I bought because it, it just happened to be the wrong year. Um. But yeah, dude. These like, cause you remember when I built the suspension before I sold it, it to him, right? right though. Yeah, no, it's got full, it, I mean, it's not like top of the line stuff, but um, it's true. It handles like puff. It, it's true heart, it's true heart um, struts with true heart lowering springs with like the uh, two collar adjustments. Yeah. So like, you can't adjust rod height, which I don't give a fuck about anyways. Yeah. But um, my main point from that was, is I can get the spring load dialed in right. Exactly. Um, so if I can get a few decent passes out of those, I might just rock those until I get coilovers. Um, oh yeah, and also guys, if you're a K-Series guy or a night gen guy, um, 15 bucks, bro, for the fog, for the fog light and this trim piece. It is in pretty mint condition. It could use a cleaning, of course, but I mean, hey. Um, an oh, another item I have for sale is this, um, sedan, wind, uh, like sunroof visor. Uh, dude, I'll, I'll let this stuff go for the dirt load just because I don't want to throw it away. Oh, yeah, here's the axle we got to take back. Oh, you trying to go do this tomorrow? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. All right, word, word, word. Yeah. So, um, yeah, pretty much right now, we're putting on the new prop valve. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this one-handed. So we'll check back in once I have that prop valve installed. And then we're going to try and change the... Uh, we're going to try and bleed the system one more time just to verify there's no leaks. 
And then once I've verified there's no leaks, I'm probably gonna throw the intake manifold back on. Probably not tonight, but soon. Tomorrow. Yeah. It just depends, bro, because there's a few other parts I'm trying to buy that might make me have to take my intake manifold yeah. off again. Gotcha. So we just gotta see how stuff plays out. But um yeah, so hopefully this junkyard booster holds up and uh yeah we can make some jam out of this thing i'm hoping to make about 400 on pump gas oh yeah and i mean 1400 uh, uh three if 300 horsepower in a damn 1800 pound car you it's wouldn't you, scoot. yeah <laughs> I was gonna say, if i can get it a hook it's going to scoot <laughs> yeah exactly you just got there some meat on it i got i got that planned out yeah. too you gonna blow the low tires off uh yeah no i want to run like 20 like 275 or something i don't know how drag slick tires work but i want one that's like probably like a 22 by like whatever gotcha. just like a you know oh uh, yeah a meaty sticky tire yeah <laughs> and then um so yeah we'll update you guys after we get this prop valve off because that thing has been bugging me at well, that prop, that prop, this is the new prop valve. And I'm trying to get everything threaded in, but you know how it goes with these damn. You know how it goes with these. Junk valve Yeah, well, not even that. Just getting fucking, getting these things to thread. All right, yeah. So we're gonna get that put on, and then I'll give you guys an update when we're bleeding the brakes. Point the camera at me, um, guys. I don't know if you remember. Uh, where is the old prop valve? Um, what did we do with it? Oh, there it is. So this is is the lighting good and everything? Yeah. Here, right, let's try and mm. stuff like. So that nipple was leaking. Um, so yeah, this, this prop valve shit. Uh, Johnny, y'all know Johnny. Um, we're gonna hook up the rest of the lines and try and bleed the brakes and see if anything comes of it. Oh uh, yeah. Um. Alright, let me look at this picture. And by the way, guys, I, I would have had this stuff done weeks ago, man, but I just told him my car, I've been dealing with hella personal problems, and I mean, I work for a living. It's, and then, uh, what goes to these top two motherfuckers? It's the front right, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, if you want, bro, we can mount my shifter. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Because you're hey, a... Um, by the way, guys, like I know y'all probably don't know shit about this car since I've been very bad at informing what's been done to it. But um, I'm going to do a full walk around of the car once it's running and how much power it makes. Um, but my main goal... <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'll edit that out. But um, the main goal is to get it to Streetcar Takeover. And if you're not from the Southeast, Streetcar Takeover is like barely over a month away. I don't yeah. even think it's a whole month now. Yeah. So like, I really got to get this thing running. Because like, that's been like a six-term goal for me is to get this thing running before Streetcar Takeover. So, all right. Uh, and the only other line we got to plug up is...
This one. This one. You getting that great camera angle? Here, I can move oh, the yeah. laptop if yeah. you want to see a little. Actually, that laptop's getting dumb hot in that spot right over here a little bit. Okay, wait, actually, I got an idea. I was trying to make it like. Aim down more. That better? Oh, yeah. Okay. I just didn't want it to like wash out the footage. Yeah. Bro, do you think I should keep AC or delete it? I mean, uh, heater. I would delete. You would delete the heat? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and another reason I don't want to put the end tape manifold on is because of my oil pressure gauge. Like. Here, wait. Uh, yeah guys you gotta realize uh like right after I, so i was on the way to charleston to get the rest of my tools from charleston that i forgot and i literally totaled my night gen si on the way to go get them oh and a video will be up on that soon because i want to show you guys the damage and like talk about what happened you know stuff like that but um, I'm not going to wait to release it until after all the legalities are settled, for obvious reasons. Um, if you catch my drift. Uh, <laughs> Focus lighting. Oh yeah. I'm not using this oil pressure sender anyways. This is like some old jack crap. So I, I'm running an AEM uh, oil pressure sensor, which I've already got. Dude, I've got the injectors, the fuel rail. I'll have both the axles in tomorrow. The mounts are fully complete. The car is going to get taken to shift fast next week so I can finish up all the fab work. Like, dude, I'm hoping by like a week or two, like, I'm hoping in a week or two, y'all see a video of me on YouTube tuning this car. I'm shooting oh, yeah. for I'm shooting for anywhere between 325 and 400. Yeah. 400 is my max, just because I've still got stock pistons. But to be real with you, I've seen people push stock pistons past like 550. It's just yeah. kind of like a gamble. Exactly. And I mean, these motors are 600 bucks, so like. Even if it does blow up later in the drag season, I just go buy a $600 F20B and then build the dog shit out of it. <laughs> and then just come back next season even harder. Exactly. Go go embarrass some Camaros. Oh, yeah. Because, dude, imagine this thing making 600 It would outrun probably, I know. like, It'll all kinds of mass asses and yeah. shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, going, it's pretty damn stout low four cylinder. I mean, dude, think about it, bro. It's got iron sleeves. It revs a nine grand from the factory. Made 210 to the crank and oh, yeah. 185 foot-pounds of torque. Exactly, bro. From the factory. Yeah, and we got a little bit added on. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. That, that turbo was way overkill. <laughs> I, I'd rather have too much turbo than too little. Exactly. Because you can always turn the turbo down. You can't keep turning the turbo up past the sufficiency range. Blow you know up. I mean? Exactly. But um, uh, uh, according to the internet, which you shouldn't always trust. Well, actually, no. This is right off of the brake lines website. I just wish the prop valve I would have had wasn't a leak. But then I thought about it, bro, and I was like, that prop valve's been sitting in a box over there for like two and a half years. Yeah. Hey, another thing I want to do soon, 
Uh, dude, would you be down to go junkyard hopping with me, like, all over the Carolinas? <laughs> I told you I would. Because, dude, like, you realize how much P28s go for with, like, chips and shit and Hondata boards yeah, put on them? Dude. Dude. You can make money off that. Off some shit real quick. <laughs> no, dude. Hey, at Miller. All right, guys. So we have every brake line, sort of hand tight, I guess you could call it. Um. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and tighten up every brake line, and then see if my brakes work, and then um, we'll get back to you after that. All right, guys, Caleb here. We now have the, uh, I know it's dirty. It will be flushed numerous times, trust me. But um, the new prop valve, the new prop valve is in installed, but um, But yeah, it's not mounted to the car yet, but all the brake lines are tight. Um, I, I triple checked them really, and uh, this is the new prop valve. So I don't see any reason why it wouldn't leak. Um, also, I went ahead and took, about, I took out one of the bungs in my sandwich plate for my uh, oil pressure gauge. Um, I'm gonna take that BS out too and probably plug it, or just cut those wires. Uh, but dude besides that man engine is fully in clutches in uh, my wiring harness will be here in about two to three weeks just because it's special order uh, And then I need a traction bar and a radiator and some random uh, Fuel parts and this car will be ready to start. All right, so right now me and Johnny we're uh, bleeding the brakes on my car Hey, let me go see if that prop valve's leaking I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, man, but like, the prop valve is leak free. As of now, who knows if it's gonna start leaking again or what. But um, yeah, so we're, we're just gonna keep bleeding them and see where that takes us, really. All right, guys. So pretty much, I had two of the lines backwards. I already fixed that, right? Yeah. All right. You already did this video too. Yeah, well, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, pretty much, we're gonna try and bleed the brakes for like the third time, and they should work, is what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> All right, guys, so you probably won't be able to see, because it's, can you shine a light in here, Johnny? Yeah, I got you. Hey, shine a light towards me first. Uh, so pretty much, guys, me being a goof, um, I mixed up two of the brake lines. I don't know which ones, but um, yeah. Shine a light down here. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a little spongy. But we got pedal now. But like, as soon as you hit like three quarters of the way, there's nothing, there's nothing left. Like, it's stiff as a fucking rock. Um, so, my plan is, the person, alright, so I owned this car in high school fucking delivering pizza for like over a year. And I sold it to some kid I went to high school with. He blew up the Y8 I had in it, and then tried to rebuild that Y8 and blew it up. Didn't he blow up like three engines? Yeah, he went through three. Yeah, so, uh, oh yeah, and by the way, if anyone has a very, very cheap body harness that's uncut from a 92 sedan EG, hit my line. I'll put my Snapchat in the description, and if I can't find any to buy from someone, I'm just going to go hit up a few junkyards until I can find one. But, um, yeah, uh, this car will run by June 27th, which is Streetcar Takeover in Charlotte. I know I don't have a lot of followers on this page, but if you want to see this car in person, and I mean, I don't, I don't know if you even care enough to meet me or not, but on the off chance you are, 
Come say what's up, man. I'm a cool dude. I'll talk Hondas with you for hours. I really just want to make sure I take every precaution I can to make sure these brakes will work for a very long time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, we're just going to screw around at the shop for a few more minutes. But realistically, that's all I wanted to get done for tonight. Um, what do I got planned for tomorrow? And tomorrow I'm probably just going to chill because, you know, I, I don't know if you guys know yet, but I totaled my car last week. There'll be a video coming on that on that soon. I, I just can't release it yet for reasons. Um, I'm sure you guys understand that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, dude, this car will make it to streetcar takeover. And I don't know if you live in the southeast or know where ZMAX Dragway is, but I mean... I'll be up there in this car, the K-Swap car I'm buying this week. Oh, I don't even know if I should have said that yet. Well, you know what? Screw it. Um, so the, pretty much the insurance money I'm getting from my SI, I want to buy an older K-Swap car. I'm looking at a Del Sol, so if the swap looks like it's been done properly, then I'm more than likely buying it Sunday. And that car will get its own video. Um, I'm going to go hang out with the boys in the Chuck Town soon so they can see my new car but yeah man that's about it bro um oh yeah and by the way i did start working at shift fast part-time again so i don't know if anyone of you give a fuck about subaru content but um i've been building race cars for about two years now like i know people are watching this and they're like oh you're 20 you don't know what the fuck you're talking about exactly. but yeah like i've I like not trying to sound cocky or anything, but I have built a Subaru from the ground up to make 850 to 1000 horsepower. So, I mean, I know, I mean, I know some people think age matters with knowledge, but it really don't. So, yeah. I don't even know if I want to autocross this thing, bro. You think I should? Strictly drag. Sh should I autocross the uh oh, I, I, I don't Yeah. Yeah, should I autocross the car I might buy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think you guys are going to be very surprised about this next purchase. Uh, I'll make sure to bring you guys along too, man. I know it's been slack with uploads recently, man, but after totaling my car and some other personal shit that's been going on in my life, like, I just, I mean, I've been unmotivated to make YouTube videos, bro. And, like, I don't do this for a living. I do it for fun. So, like, I work for a living. Um, I work at Shift Ass, Ass Automotive. Um, we specialize in Subarus. So, if you ever need a Subaru built in the Southeast, make sure to give those guys a holler. And, um, yeah, they're by far the best Subaru shop in the Southeast. Um, their e tuner holds like three world records for Subaru cars. So, um, I, I thought I'd give Chef that a oh, yeah. shameless plug because oh, yeah. they helped me out a, a bunch. Sure. They will do it for Because those are my homies and you support your homies in their business ventures. And that's how I think you should go about it. Yeah. But enough rambling. The brakes work. Um, it's like two in the morning. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so... It's like two in the morning. Um, we're gonna get a little bit more things done, like right before he leaves. But uh, I'm not gonna film any of it. It's just like nonsense that you don't really want to see, anyways. Um, but yeah, man. After that, you're gonna see this this bad F20. Smoking marrow. You're gonna see this bad F20 make some jam. <laughs> I mean, nah, uh, don't get me wrong, bro. It's completely stock internals. So I, I wouldn't be disappointed if I made 350 to 400. But you gotta realize, 350 to 400 in a properly geared car that also weighs 1,500 pounds, you might not think it's fast, hey. but um, you'll find out shortly in Mexico. <laughs> Trust me. Hey, man, well. Hey, don't forget to slap that like button. If you care enough about young kids doing dumb shit to cars, then yeah, stick around.